everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the honeycomb trellis stitch. And this is, as you can see, it's a very open, very lace-like uh, stitch, but it carries a fair bit of stability as well. So this is a great stitch if you want some open work, but you want a fabric that is fairly sturdy. Now, uh, this stitch is comprised uh, using single crochet stitches and chain stitches, so it's a great lace stitch for a beginner, and uh, it has worked in rows. So uh, today I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me, and if you haven't already, I, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and check out some of my other videos there. Why don't you grab a hook and some yarn, and uh, we will get started. Our pattern today is worked in rows, so we're going to start off by making our slip knot, and you're going to work a foundation chain with a multiple of five stitches plus two. So today I'm going to work a total of 20 stitches plus two, uh, so 22 stitches. There's 20, 21, and 22. Once you have your multiple of five stitches plus two, you're going to work your first row, and your first row is simply going to be a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then one single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So start in the second chain from your hook, single crochet, and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to single crochet in each of the first two stitches. Chain five, skip two stitches, and work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're now going to repeat. Chain five, skip two stitches, and work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And repeat. Repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches. Skip two, you have two stitches left, single crochet into your final two stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to single crochet into your first stitch. Then work five single crochet stitches into your chain five space. So you're skipping that next single crochet. And then five single crochet stitches into the chain five space. Skip the next single crochet and into the next single crochet, work one single crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch and work five single crochets into the next chain five space. Repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next single crochet, skip the next stitch, five single crochet into your chain five space. Continue that 
all the way across your work. When you come to your final two single crochets, you simply skip the next stitch and single crochet into that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain six and turn your work. Your chain stitch counts as a triple stitch and a chain two. You're then going to skip the first two single crochet stitches, so skip the first one and then two, and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain five, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're now going to repeat chain five, skip three, and work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain five, and single crochet into each of the next three. You're going to repeat that all the way across. And when you come to your final two stitches, you're going to finish by chaining two and then working one triple stitch into your final stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a single crochet, uh, two sing a single crochet into the top of that first triple. You're then going to work two single crochet into the next chain two space. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and work five single crochets into your next chain five space. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Sorry, work five single crochets into that next chain five space. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next, and five single crochets into your chain five space. Continue to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final chain space there, you're going to skip that next stitch work two single crochets into that chain space and then one into the fourth chain of that starting chain six. And that brings you to the end of your row five. For row six, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're now going to single crochet in each of the first two stitches. Chain five. Skip the next three and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Chain five. Skip three and work one in each of the next three stitches. One single crochet. You're now going to repeat that 
all the way across. When you come to your final stitches, you're going to work one single crochet in each of the last two. And that brings you to the end of your row six. And that brings us to the end of the repeat for this pattern. To continue it, you're now going to repeat rows three through to six for as long as you would like. So that row three was the chain one and turn and your single crochets across. So continue on from row three, repeat through to row six, and you will have completed a honeycomb trellis stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.